Moose are some of the biggest animals in North America and in Europe as well. In North America, they are known as moose and in Europe as European elk. Moose are the largest species of the deer family and are easily told apart from other deer species with unique characteristics, such as long slender legs, large ears, and hump shoulders that support a large head that wield some of the largest antlers of any extant animal in the world, with some of the largest antlers ever found measuring 6 feet across. Males weigh from 790 to 1,500 pounds, and females weigh from 590 to 880 pounds on average. Keep in mind that these are merely averages, as the biggest moose ever recorded weighed 1,808 pounds and stood over 7 feet tall at the shoulder. This behemoth of a moose was killed in 1887 in the Alaskan Yukon. Speaking of giants past, the largest moose species to have ever existed was known as the broad-fronted moose, which towered over the modern-day moose, and it is thought to have existed in the hollow arctic region in Europe during the Pleistocene epoch. This topic could very well take over the whole video, so we'll save it for another one. In Eurasia, moose have ranges in western Scandinavia, Poland, and southern Czech Republic, Siberia, Ukraine, northern Kazakhstan, northern China, and northern Mongolia. In North America, the moose range includes most of Alaska and Canada, and extends farther south into the Rocky Mountains into areas of the U.S. like Utah and Colorado. Moose are found in cold terrain that has seasonal snow cover, as their large bodies do not have the ability to sweat, and heat produced by fermentation in their gut does not allow them to tolerate temperatures above 80 degrees for long. They inhabit taiga and boreal forests and temperate forest biomes, including the tundra subalpine zone, but real forests being zones where the vegetation is mainly composed of pines and spruce having an elevation of 3,000 feet and being considered one of the largest biomes in the world. Temperate forest biomes being characterized as areas with high levels of precipitation and humidity and an abundance of trees that lose their leaves in winter and the tundra alpine zone being regions that do not contain trees due to the elevation and where snow is common even throughout summer occurring throughout mountain ranges worldwide. Moose in these regions are usually found closer to bodies of water like rivers, streams, and lakes. They are also found in areas where new vegetation is common due to disturbances like logging, flooding, fires, and glacial actions that increase the quantity and quality of vegetation. Moose, unlike other cervids, are solitary animals and are not territorial animals, with exceptions for both of those characteristics coming in mating season. That occurs in September to October, with gestation periods being around 230 days long, approximately 8 months. Female moose, also known as cows, will give birth to one or two calves that on average weigh 35 pounds at birth, but add around 2 pounds a day strictly up nursing. Unfortunately, 50% of wool calves do not survive beyond 6 weeks of life due to heavy predation from wolves and bears. However, calves that do survive and reach adulthood have a 95% survival rate, with male rates being more variable due to hunting and competition amongst themselves. Cows and bulls mature at around 2 years of age, but reach their prime closer to the years 4 and 5 when they are at their reproductive peak. Moose predators include wolves, brown bears, grizzly bears, and cougars, and to a lesser extent, coyotes and armored tigers. With predation by wolves being higher in winters, and predation by bears being highest in the spring, when most moose calves are vulnerable. Most typical lifespans are from 8 to 15 years in the wild, but can reach up to 25 years in very rare cases. That is going to do it for the informative part of the video. Here are some videos that will be linked in full in the description on moose versus some of the predators. This is Animal Know It All. Thank you for watching.